What is a stupid argument that people still keep using? Well, I did, unsafe thing, and I turned out fine. Yeah, that's because the people who died doing it usually don't speak up about it much. Survivorship bias. Reminds me of the story of how switching from leather helmets to metal in World War I had the counterintuitive effect of causing head injuries to skyrocket. How could switching to stronger helmets actually increase the number of head injuries? Well, it's because when a guy is killed from shrapnel through the skull, nobody calls it a head injury. It's a fatality. When a helmet blocks the shrapnel and saves his life, though, he still reports a head injury. But I've always done it that way. I work at an imaging center, radiology, x-rays and such. We have multiple buildings. This lady is in mine. Accounting is in the admin building. This lady will get a fax, which is a PDF file in her network shared folder. She will print this PDF onto paper. Then she will take it to one of two places. Either she will fax it to the admin building, or she will take it to her PC and scan it in so that she can email it to someone. We have tried and tried and tried to make her life easier, but she refuses to change a thing. We have have done it like this for years. The one that shits me off is natural equals good healthy, and that artificial equals bad unhealthy. As if our species hasn't spent millennia creating unnatural buildings and cities for comfortable living, or developing unnatural vaccines and antibiotics to treat all the very natural diseases that have killed billions. It's my opinion and facts shall not change it. You changed your opinion based on new information that shows weakness and untrustworthiness. I agree. Sometimes the statement being attacked isn't even a this is absolutely guaranteed to be true, but a to the best of our knowledge. Trust. We just need to trust the people we work with. The entire reason I'm bringing this is up is because Gail is a moron. Why is this being turned on me? I carried you for nine months. I didn't ask you to do that. Nobody exists on purpose. Nobody belongs anywhere. Everyone is going to die. Now come watch TV. But it's Christmas to try get anything they want. For example, I'm a bar manager. Group comes in 20 minutes after service. Stop trying to get a drink. Sorry we've stopped serving, but it's Christmas you should serve us. Unfortunately, your 20 pounds in the till isn't worth the potential loss of my personal license. Turn it on them. But it's Christmas and me and the servers need to go be with our loved ones now. They'd have to recognize service industry workers SS human for that to work. If you haven't done anything wrong, you have nothing to hide. This is the real reason behind the Fifth Amendment. You may think a particular fact is innocuous but it could be fit into a chain of facts and events that end up incriminating you. Particularly, when you've done nothing wrong. The dangerous thing about this is its reverse conclusion. Whoever wants to hide something must have done something wrong. When you're explaining to them about internet privacy, they say, Why should I care I don't do anything wrong? W.E.L. I have nothing to hide so why should I worry about privacy? Paraphrasing and quoting Snowden on the subject. It isn't about something to hide, it's about something to protect. Privacy is in fact the fountainhead of rights from which other freedoms flow. That's who you are, he said. Privacy is baked into our language, our core concepts of government, and self in every way. It's why we call it private property. Without privacy you don't have anything for yourself. When people tell him they don't fear surveillance because they have nothing to hide, Snowden says he tells them. Arguing that you don't care about privacy because you have nothing to hide is like arguing that you don't care about free speech because you have nothing to say. The customer is always right. People constantly misunderstand what that phrase means. It means on a grander scale. Like if you have a store that stocks nothing but blue pants, but the customers are all going to the store that stocks orange pants you should start selling orange pants even though you think they're ugly. It doesn't matter that you think blue pants are better because the customer is always right. It has nothing to do with Karen wanting the cashier to give her a discount because she had to wait five minutes online. Yes, the customer is always right about sales trends. I had a guy at McDonald's once try to argue that the McChicken he wanted was 10 cents less than what I was charging, because the customer is always right. No, that's not how that works. The fact that we have three different kinds of McChickens makes you right. The fact that you're cheap makes you an ass.
Microwaving your food is bad because of the radiation. Putting your cell phone up to your ear or in your front pocket will give you cancer. Blood is thicker than water aka family above all else. People who need to play this card are usually shitty family members. I can attest to this. The shittiest family member I have loves to say this. You can't be autistic. You're not ugly enough. I get that a lot, just not in those words. Too many people refuse to believe that autism without the facial issues doesn't exist. I'm sorry. Autism is thought to be associated with unpleasant facial features. First I'm hearing of that. In my experience, a lot of people confuse autism and Down syndrome. I guess because they think both mean, retarded, or something like that. I don't really like kids. You were a kid once. And I'll be a corpse at some point as well. It doesn't mean that I want to spend time around dead bodies. Kids are annoying. You were a kid once. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was fucking annoying too. Weed isn't addictive, and it's just a plant so it's not dangerous. I'm pro-legalization but goddamn those are some dumb arguments. It doesn't take a genius to know that weed is addictive, especially if you smoke or know some stoner friends. And the plant argument is just plain stupid. Being a plant doesn't make something not dangerous. There's so many plants out there that can kill you. Even if you want to make it about drugs, heroin, cocaine, and tobacco all come from plants. That's because a lot of people don't understand the difference between psychological addiction and physical addiction. Basically anything can be addicting. Any substance that changes the way you feel even more so, your brain will start to look for that to go back to those feelings. The earth is flat because I can't see that it is round. By that logic, the moon is closer to me than New York City, because I can see the moon from my house. Clearly no other continent exists because I've never been outside of North America. Men can't be raped by women. As someone who had a girl I didn't want come into my dorm room while I was passed out drunk and try to have sex with me, I can attest to that being wrong. The theory of evolution is just a theory. If humans evolved from apes then there wouldn't be any more apes. My mom asked me how there were still chimps if we evolved from chimps. I say, we didn't evolve from chimps. We share a common ancestor and come from a different species of primate. I don't buy it. We can't have come from chimps. We didn't come from chimps. I don't think you understand. No, I understand. I just don't buy that we come from chimps. We didn't come from chimps. Jesus Christ. Vaccines cause autism. Stupidest argument in existence and has been thoroughly disproved. Autism is due to genetics and possibly some poor choices by the mother during gestation. It is true that some people have bad reactions to vaccines, but they are very rare and far fewer in number than those that would die or suffer a serious complication due to illnesses such as polio, mumps, or measles. Video games cause violence. Was raised on them along with a large portion of others. We don't fling spears from our hands and scream, get over here, just to uppercut someone's body into a pit of giant nails. You totally would if you could though, admit it. If you don't make X type of art, you can't criticize it. Art is a service. If a plumber were to come to your house, get shitfaced, and break your sink, you would want a refund. No one would say, I'd like to see you do better. But if you criticize a band, some people will still say, well, you haven't made music, so you can't criticize it. It's utterly asinine. I also hate this argument. Like, dude, I don't need to be a Michelin-starred chef to know whether or not I enjoyed my meal so fuck right off. I had a shitty childhood and I turned out fine. If you're making your kid's childhood shitty just because of that reason, you did not turn out fine. Nature knows best bullshit. Nature knows jack shit. If there's any part of nature that either knows or understands anything at all, it is actually us. Nature doesn't know what it's doing, it simply does as it can, like water finding its way to the ocean. We are an aspect of nature that allows it to look at itself and understand. That doesn't make us the only intelligence nature has or ever will produce, but it does mean that nature like us is only learning. Women can't be sexist. People of color can't be racist. You can't possibly understand. You haven't had kids of your own. First off, I have a college degree that says I know enough about kids to teach them. Secondly, the fuck I don't have kids. I have 25 to 30 of them each year. I see them seven hours a day, five days a week 
which is probably more than some actual parents see their own kids. Thirdly, my being or not being a parent has jack all to do with the fact that I put your son in time out and made him write an apology letter for smacking a little girl's butt and telling her to make him a sandwich. Maybe if you actually parented your child then I wouldn't have to. You have to love them, their family. Nope, you don't even have to tolerate them if you don't want to. Because I'm your mom. My mom. What is a stupid argument that people still keep using? Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one.